the, I mean, there's, there's so many issues of significant consequence before us. And, you know, when I said, at, at, as, I, as I went into the break, I said, you know, I think the biggest story is that we're sliding into fascism. The problem with using that word, and, and, and I, I use it very, very sparingly and carefully, is that when you say fascism, most people think Hitler. And Hitler was not a fascist. Hitler was a cult leader. The Nazis were not, they were not fascists. Early on, perhaps, when, when, they were, when Hitler was aligning himself with the big industrialists in Germany, but once he got power, he, he, you know, fascism was invented by Mussolini. The fasce is a bundle of sticks with a rope around it. There's, there's one in front of the uh, speaker's table on the, or podium on the, in the Senate, United States Senate. And the fasce, it was the symbol of the Roman Republic. And the idea was if you have a, you know, one stick, you can break it. But if you have a bunch of sticks, you know, with a rope around them, holding them as a bundle, you can't break it. You can't break a whole big bunch of sticks. And so, you know, together we have greater strength. And so Mussolini's idea of using the symbol of the Roman Republic, keep in mind Mussolini was running Italy, which is where Rome is, and was the headquarters of the old Roman Empire. His idea of, of the, for the fasce, the, the fascism, was merging government with business, merging government with people of great wealth. He actually closed Parliament and for five years replaced it with what in Italian was referred to as the Cameo de Fascicio Corporaciones. Forgive my lousy Italian. But the, the Chamber of the Fascist Corporations. So what he, what he would do was in every, you know, their equivalent of our congressional districts, every congressional district, instead of the people electing someone, the largest corporations in that district would appoint their representative. And these are the people who ran the country. And so when I say we're sliding toward fascism, that's what I'm talking about is this merger of corporate and billionaire money with the power of government. There's a reason why the Koch brothers are spending hundreds of millions of dollars. There's a reason why Karl Rove is spending hundreds of millions of dollars on behalf of people like the Koch brothers. There's a reason why the Chamber of Commerce, on behalf of big corporations, many of them not even doing most of their business in the United States, are supporting Republican candidates by and large. And the reason is very simple. It's an investment. It's an investment in, in a country that where, where everything works to the advantage of billionaires and corporations and to hell with the average person. We are the suckers of the world. You know that? The citizens, the voters, the average working people in the United States, we pay the highest internet charges, we pay the highest phone bills, we pay the highest TV charges, we get the lousiest service, we, got, we, we have no very little diversity in our media, our political system has been bought and paid for, Thanks to the Supreme Court. I mean, we are the suckers of the world. No other country would run themselves the way that we're running our country. We're the only developed country in the world that doesn't have a national health care system. We're one of the few developed countries in the world that doesn't offer free college education and trade schools to anybody who's, who's a high school graduate. We got a trillion dollars in student loan. No other country would even consider that. We are the suckers of the planet. Why? Because our political system has been bought off by billionaires and big corporations. 